Hi, welcome to GCSE PE in three. That's a quick topic in three minutes, and we're gonna look at the functions of the skeletal system today. So there are five parts of this, five functions. So first, protection of the vital organs. So your bones can protect vital organs. For example, your cranium, that protects your brain, stops you getting concussion. So if you were a boxer, and you've got a blow to the head, your cranium's gonna protect your brain from being damaged and you're gonna hopefully avoid concussion. And that's gonna affect your performance because it means you can carry on in that boxing match and hopefully win. So when you're asked a question about how it affects performance, always think about what if that didn't protect me? So for example, your rib cage. Your rib cage is gonna protect you in rugby. So when you're tackled, if you're tackled around the rib cage, your ribs stop your heart and lung getting damaged. And therefore, you're able to carry on playing. Number two, attachment for muscles. Now, your long bones in particular allow movement, okay? And your skeletal muscles attach to those bones using tendons, not ligaments, tendons, okay? And they allow sporting performance. So when you're asked about how that affects performance, you could go into any aspect of skill. So you could say muscles attach in your arm to help throwing the javelin. As your tricep contracts, it moves your radius and ulna, allows you to maximize your throwing javelin. Number three, joints for movement. So we've got our hinge joints, ball and socket joints, pivot joints, and condylar joints. Now all of those are where two or more bones meet. And what they do is they allow the bone to be able to hinge and pivot and allow movement such as flexion and extension. So you're gonna say this allows a wide range of movement to improve a skill such as kicking a football. A large range of movement of the knee allows you to powerfully swing your lower leg and kick the ball. Number four, storage for calcium and phosphorus. Now calcium is really important because calcium allows the bones to strengthen and to grow and phosphorus is really important as that helps reduce muscle fatigue after doing sport. Now calcium we can get from dairy products and if that absorbed into our body with the benefit of vitamin D helps our bones be stronger. That helps performance because the stronger your bones are, the less likely they are to be damaged and therefore you continue in a game. So in football you might be tackled in the leg, but you're able to continue because your bones are really, really strong. And the last one, Number five is blood production. Now blood production is really important because it produces red blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen. And without red blood cells, we're gonna fatigue earlier. We're not gonna get high oxygen delivery around our body and our sporting performance will be less. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my next one.